Good evening. I'm Melissa Nakavali at Danforth and Pharmacy, where yet another pedestrian was killed while crossing the roads here in Scarborough. Now, if you take a look over here, you'll see a tribute to 65 year old Mohammed Chaudhry, who many say was a kind and quiet man. Now, while the family grieves, they also tell me that more needs to be done to stop the careless loss of life on our roadways. He's very quiet. He never bothered anybody. Fighting back tears, the daughter of 65-year-old Mohammed Chaudhry describes the man she says was well-liked in the community. My dad also says something like that. I don't say anything. She I don't talk anything. After the doctor came, the doctor said, I want to talk to you. That's the moment she says she found out her father was dead. But never did she think he would die so unexpectedly at the hands of a driver. He's old. He don't know something. At least they, they take care. He just was right in the middle of this lane, mm -hmm. and he was hesitating whether he should move forward or he should come back. And at that time, the the SUV car, car come like approaching to him and just hit him. Incidents like this residents in the Scarborough area say happens time and time again with very little resolution. Do you think there should be another crosswalk here then? I, I, I think, yeah, it's because you see the signal over there and the other one is very far over there in the buying avenue. So it's pretty far from here, right? We're seeing some action in a few uh, targeted areas. We're not seeing a citywide uh, plan in, implemented to improve uh, pedestrian and road safety. And we're not seeing the type of uh, action that we're, that's, uh, that's necessary. We know that the speed limits in Scarborough tend to be higher because the streets are wider, uh, more arterial in nature. Um, you can get up to six lanes in some of them. Uh, wider uh, breaks in between pedestrian crossings. Uh, intersections are literally, some, in some cases, kilometers apart. But with two pedestrian deaths in as many days and 37% of pedestrian fatalities due to collisions taking place in Scarborough alone, advocates are calling on a proactive approach from city officials. It means taking Vision Zero seriously. The city has a Vision Zero plan, but they're not acting fast enough. I just, justice, right, justice, that's it. Because my dad is gone. Now here you can see messages for the Bangladeshi community. Friends of the victim tell me it says what happened to Mohammed Chaudhry as well it describes that he was a prominent figure back in Bangladesh before he moved to Canada six years ago. Now police say that this investigation is ongoing. Chaudhry is the 27th pedestrian to be killed on city streets.